In this video, I'm going to show you an easy way to create an AI agent that can check your balance and send crypto. We use Telegram as our front end to interact with this agent, but you could build out a web app or use whatever you want. You could also add on to this functionality to have the agent make more autonomous decisions about buying and selling your crypto for you. But this will be a basic example that gives you a good starting point. So let's get into it. The first thing that you're going to do is create a safe smart wallet. Your safe wallet will essentially be able to be controlled via API so it can execute your transactions independently. So we're just going to launch a new safe wallet and I'll connect it with my MetaMask here. I'll just call this tutorial safe. For now, I'm going to go ahead and deploy this on Ethereum. Sign your name is me. I'll go ahead and pay later with the first transaction. Now you'll want to make sure you copy this wallet address for your new safe because you're going to need that in a moment. So copy that and paste it somewhere for a second. And now our safe wallet is ready to go. So the next thing that we need to do is open up Telegram and search for at botfather on Telegram. And this is basically a bot API that's going to let us create a little bot here in Telegram. So we'll just go ahead and type slash new bot and hit enter. We'll name it crypto agent tutorial bot. So just follow the instructions that it gives you step by step. All done. So that was easy. Congratulations on your new bot. You can find it here. Now where it says use this token to access the API, go ahead and again copy this token and paste that somewhere because we're also going to need that in just a moment. All right, now we're ready to start making our actual Python script for this agent. So I'm going to open up a new terminal and I'm just going to create a new project. So I'll just make a folder really quick. Crypto. AI agent tutorial, CD into it. Now in here, I'm gonna go ahead and run this command, which will be in the description. And this is just gonna install some packages for uh, using, interacting with Web3 wallets and OpenAI. Now I'm just gonna create a new file in this folder and open this up in my IDE. So in this file, I'm just gonna paste in some code for the AI agent and I'll put this code in GitHub. It'll be linked down below so you can just paste this in and look through it. We have a few credentials to fill in here, but basically what this is doing, we have a few functions to get the balance of our wallet and to send crypto. We have some prompts and responses to come from our AI agent. Like in here where we have, you're an AI managing a crypto wallet. You could add more stuff in here. You could say you're an AI agent named Bob with a goofy personality and you know, make your agent agent a little bit more unique, make it your own. You could also elaborate on the prompt a little bit and say, you know, based on the current market conditions for Ethereum, is it a good idea for me to buy crypto right now or to invest in ETH right now? So you can really customize this however you want, but let's go ahead and fill in our credentials up here. So that Telegram bot token that we just uh, copied down earlier, we need to paste that here. The safe API URL is already filled in here for us, but we are gonna need to paste in that safe wallet address right here as well. Now we are gonna need an alchemy key in order to uh, be able to use this alchemy RPC URL so we can interact with Ethereum mainnet. So I'm gonna sign into my Alchemy dashboard, go to apps and create a new app, AI agent, and we wanna select Ethereum and we'll just click create app. So now we're in the dashboard for the new app we just created on Alchemy. I'm gonna go ahead and copy the key. Obviously never share your keys. This is just a test key for a tutorial that I'm gonna delete right after this. So that's why I'm okay with just showing it to you here, but make sure you never share them. We'll just add that to the RPC URL. And then the last thing that we are gonna need is an OpenAI API key. So go ahead and sign into OpenAI's API platform. I'm gonna create a new uh, API key, create secret key, copy it. And then we're gonna paste that in right here. And one last credential you'll wanna add Add is actually your owner private key. So this is the private key of the wallet that created the safe wallet. So in my case, that's going to be the MetaMask, the private key of my MetaMask wallet that I used to set this safe wallet up. And you're just going to want to grab that private key out of your MetaMask wallet and paste it in here as your owner private key so that you can use the safe Python SDK. And before we run this file and test this out locally, we need to go back over to our safe wallet and actually send some funds and activate this wallet. So I'll I'm just gonna do that really quick and then we'll come back and run our script. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is just send some funds directly to this wallet so that we actually have something to send back to ourselves to see this working. So I'm scanning this on my phone. I'm just gonna send a small amount of Ethereum to this wallet. Okay, so we had to wait just a minute and now we see some Ethereum showing up. Uh, we actually have a balance here. So one of two steps completed. Let's go ahead and activate the wallet now. So this will actually deploy this to our safe account so we'll be able to interact with it. Activate. 
confirm the transaction. This is going to cost me like $18 to do, so please watch this video. <laughs> you could do this with Polygon or another chain besides Ethereum too to make it cheaper if you wanted to. So now we'll just wait a few minutes for this account to be activated. All right, and we're all set. The account is activated and ready to use. So let's go back to our script now. And I'm just gonna open a new terminal here so you can see. And I'm just gonna run this file. Okay, I have one small uh, typo in the code that I had to fix, but you won't have to worry about that because you will copy and paste this, so it'll be correct for you. So now I just ran the command I can see my bot is running so let's test this out and see if everything works so we'll open back up telegram and now we're going to just search for the at for this uh, handle that we created for our bots username so instead of at bot father we're gonna look for at crypto agent tutorial bot and we're gonna start a new chat with this bot now if I type in slash balance here and hit send the AI agent is going to respond with your wallet balance is 0.0041 ETH. If we check back over here, we can see 0.004 ETH. And the reason why we have 0.41 right here is just because we uh, told it in the code to round off at the fourth decimal place. So it's rounding 06 to 1 right there. So if you look here, you can see we specified the four decimal places. All right, now we want to actually see it working to send some crypto. So I'll type slash send. I want to send 0.001 ETH and I want to send it at this address. So let's see what it does. Okay, I literally just spent like two hours looking into this because I kept getting this 404 error trying to post my transaction request to the safe wallet. And um, turns out guys, they actually have right now um, temporarily paused a lot of their services because of the recent Bybit hack. They haven't found evidence that they were uh, actually compromised, but out of abundance of caution, they're pausing everything and reevaluating all their services. Their API is still not back up because that literally just happened at the time that I'm filming this. So really annoying for this video, but this would work. Basically, you can see the whole entire flow here and the only part that's failing is just right here on actually posting the transaction to the safe wallet. But the AI agent is doing what we expect it to do and with this prompt it is determining that yes it's reasonable to go ahead and send this transaction and it's attempting to send the transaction and what we would see is just the balance being transferred uh, programmatically from here into my uh, MetaMask wallet so really it's only that just very last teeny tiny step that's uh, not working but you can see that a uh, bot does respond as we expect for getting our wallet balance and if you wanted to you could just deploy this somewhere like Replit you could just create a new Python app and upload the code and it would just be able to run continually so you didn't have to run it locally and you could actually have this deployed and other people could use your bot. Definitely kind of an annoying way to have to end this video but I do need to move on with my life so <laughs> I hope this was at least a little bit helpful for some of you guys and in the coming days when Safe restores their remaining services that will make this a lot easier for us. So thanks for watching and I will see you in another video very soon.